What is up? We're back. But sure, we're back. Haven't posted in a while. Just nothing's really been happening in life. But sure, uh, I decided why not just take you on a little adventure that I normally do. Uh, ocean conservation. I mean, I'm really just going snorkeling for lures and taking out whatever fishing line I can find. So, yeah, hopefully we do find some stuff. I'm on Point de Isne at the moment. Quite windy. I wasn't expecting it to be this windy, but that is perfectly fine. I should be okay. I mean, the wind is coming directly into the beach, so I was expecting it to me for it to. You know, I was expecting for it to push me down the beach, but it's just going to be pushing me back um, to shore, which is perfectly fine. So yeah, I don't have an underwater camera, so I can't take you with me, but I'll show you the little process of just what I have and what the gear is. It's flippin' simple. <laughs> it really is simple, but yeah, it's a lot of fun when you do find good stuff, because I have found quite a lot. As I said, it's very simple, very, very simple. Uh, your basic snorkeling gear. I have my fins, uh, goggles, obviously. And then this is my little retrieval pouch just a normal knife with a mayonnaise container with a whole lot of holes in it so the water can get in and plus a rope attached to it so I can just put it on my hand and then swim wherever needs the holes because if it doesn't have holes then it'll float um, but all these holes are just small enough so no hooks are able just to fall out while they are inside so yeah that's basically it um, yeah, now I'll show you my conditions of where I'm going to be and how much beach I'm going to do and hopefully we do. Yeah, I'll just show you. So at the moment, these are the conditions. There's a plane that's super loud. Which I know very loud here. It's actually, it's actually not as windy as I thought, which is nice. So yeah, uh, what I'm wanting to check is all the way, every single boat is connected to a line. And a lot of people get stuck on these lines. So, and I'm wanting to go all the way down, which is all the way down. It's quite a far, it's like three k's away. So, yeah, so hopefully that I'm able to do some fun times. So that was, that's going to be round one of many. Um, I didn't get really what I wanted, but I got a lot of line, which is great, getting out of, getting that out the ocean. I don't know if you can actually see anything, you probably can't, but I can't really put you anywhere else. Good job. Lots of line, a full container worth. Um, so I'm just gonna. This was I. I realized that this is actually way too much, and I need to just get a hold of it. So I got one lure. That was it, which is a bit disappointing. But yeah, I've been in the water for quite a while. I'd say over over an hour now. And I've probably stretched about a kilometer over the beach. So I'm just wanting to see what time it is. Yeah, I was in the water for about an hour. Yeah. So yeah, now I'm just gonna take a break a bit because the current way I was going was really hectic. Um, and I'll I'll just take everything out of the side of this container so you can see what I ended up getting. Um, you know, lots of line, lots of line, and there's still so much I need to go get.
So you just saw that whole process of me just going through everything. Well, quite, it's pretty, it was pretty disappointing with just the amount of stuff that I got. But, but you did see the, you did see how much line I did get. Um, so yeah, this is, as I said, this is going to be the first, first, um, I'm going in again today. I'm going in multiple times. I need to go clean everything out that I can. Um, I'm pretty sure that I will find at least another one or two of um, these guys. Of these guys. Um, I, I should get a few more of those. But you know, this is just an overview of the first um, dive of what I got. Well, I got a someone's um, kiteboard handle, which is rough. They had lost their handle. So four spark plugs. Yeah, not not the greatest. But if I could just move out the sun, then you'll be able to see that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's definitely difficult. What I'm doing. I'm trying to get a nice angle. Oh. Yeah. It's it's definitely difficult because there's a lot of current, lots of current. Um, and it's actually it's quite deep where I am so it, it made it, it it was quite difficult with what I was doing um, plus you know a lot of this line is so old that the coral is growing over it um, so you have to like cut it as close as you can to the coral because you don't want to break the coral so it's, it's quite difficult um, and it's it's well that's not very deep it's probably about five six meters but with that, it's it's basically a cove where I'm, I'm uh, diving there, um, and there's it's really hectic current right over there, so it's it's quite a bit difficult. But that's fun. It's fun though. It's it's nice to be cleaning up, especially because as a fisherman, it's 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 nice to actually clean up you were doing even though I didn't do any of this you know I'm, I'm cleaning up for the rest of us so I don't know how much you can here but yeah no it's it's definitely hard but it's fun so you know if you you are able to do this just go out and be able to clean areas whether it be fishing line whether it be trash whether it be just going lure treasure hunting sorry you can't see anything now whether it be lure treasure hunting you know go do it it's worth it you know you might just find a really expensive lure and then you also will clean up the environment at the same time so it's really worth it so yeah i'll be heading back into the water now going for round two and hopefully we get some actual lures over there not just spark plugs and sinkers Let's just say I found the honey hole. <laughs> I'm not sure what time it is. It is six. Uh, you couldn't see that. Okay. Five five fifty-four. This was a two-hour dive I just did. It went pretty well. <laughs> I didn't get any hard lures, but I got a lot of soft plastics. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. So, it, it definitely went pretty well. I wouldn't, I can't show you now because I need to get back. I need to get back home. But yeah, another full container. And the soft plastics, I got quite a lot of soft plastics. And a lot of them are still very old and stuff. But still say over 10 um, 10 
jigs. It's pretty good and lots of blood. <laughs> lots of blood. Lots of braid. Um, lots of braid. Um, where I was fishing now, where I was the clip before this, um, I was, it was maybe 10 meters just away from that. Um, that cove. I can, I'll just show you. I'm not right by it, but I can zoom in where it is. Um, there's rocks over there. Down, all the way down there, past those people. If it would focus, yeah. That cove over there is just over there. That's uh, where I was diving in. That's probably about six or seven meters deep, just over there. Probably three meters out. It's, but then just on the other side of that, where those people are standing, that's where I found absolutely everything. It was pretty good. Yeah. So I did this whole beach all the way up, all the way, and probably another kilometer down. I got one soft plastic and a little bit of line. <sighs> yeah, one soft plastic and oh, that's a nice background. One soft plastic and a little bit of line. It it was pretty good. It ended up it was a really good dive. It was the most I've gotten. Period. In one space, they were just they were just in like one pile. It was a big snag. Oh my hair! It was just a big snag, um, and I was just able to pick all of them out. So yeah, I'll get home and I'll sort through everything, and then and then you'll see what I got. But yeah, if you have the opportunity to do this, definitely do. That's fun. It's also profitable. Not profitable. I'm not making money off of this, but it's it's really fun. So yeah quite a lot I don't know what you can see in there if I can just flip my video out there's a, quite a few soft plastics in there quite a few yeah I can tell you that majority of it was lost by one person because most of them had the same line on them broken it was a certain type of line it was um, it's called, it's, I know the brand, it's Omar Camouflage Braid, it's green and black. And they were using that as leader. And majority of them had that exact same leader. Um, plus, instead of using an FG to connect the leader and the um, braid, they just used a swivel. And they, most of them were like that. So I'm guessing it was one person that actually lost most of it. Which is rough for them. Good job. So a day, I'll get back home and I'll show you what the harvest was. Just got back. Just got back. This is my... Not the whole day. Not bad. Of all the lures. And then that's all the line. Quite a lot of stuff. Not bad. Flip the camera. I'll see you in the next one.